the private room with Tiffany. So most of you re might remember me from the Speak Up and Inspire series, which ran from 2018 to mid-2021. And I took a break for us to have my new baby girl, Miss Zaya. Um, and I took off some time also because of COVID. So we all know that we went through a pandemic. A lot of people started their own businesses. A lot of people really needed to reevaluate, you know, what it is that they wanted to do business-wise. A lot of people started their own businesses as well. So for me, I was missing the Speak Up and Inspire series. I was missing being out in the community. I was just missing period, just doing me and just being who I am. And that's networking with other people, connecting with different businesses, promoting different businesses, and just being my authentic self. So that's what we're talking about tonight. We are talking about being our authentic self. And that really means to me is me being able to show who I am as a woman, as a mother, as a wife, as a friend, as a businesswoman, and all of the different hats that I wear, just like all of us do. So tonight we have a lot of amazing business owners with us tonight and we're going to be talking to each one of them to learn about their brand so i made sure that i specifically picked out certain people or specific people should i say to be able to make my vision come true and tonight you're going to meet those people because they have expertise they are coaches they're business owners, they're professionals, they're sexy, they're amazing, and I brought them on the PR team because I knew that they had something valuable to share, and I wanted to make sure that we were able to um, maximize on everything that there is to talk about whether it's talking about business, whether it's talking about being an advocate, whether it's talking about um, just networking, anything like that. I wanted to make sure that if it's juicy, if it's worthy, if it's um, you know, something that is out in the news, that we are going to capture it here on the private room. So if you remember the Speak Up and Inspire series, we were interviewing um, community leaders. We were interviewing advocates. We were also interviewing um, business owners as well. But what we were focused on was people that had their own businesses, that were out in the community, who were neighbors just like us, that were making a difference in the community. That is not gonna stop. But what is gonna happen is that we're gonna be taking on some really tough topics. So in the next couple of weeks, or all of August, we are going to be talking about um, Pride Month and the prejudice that come along with being in the LGBT community. We're also going to be talking to parents of LGBT um, children or families. We're going to be talking to couples who um, have been um, part of the LGBT community of, you know, for whether they're married, whether they're single, and we're really going to talk to a lot of people this month that are raising awareness about the issues that are in the LGBT community. Not only that, you're also going to get to learn more about our collab partners and what it is that their expertise is, and I'm very excited. I am very, very excited about what the private room is going to bring, not only to the community, but also to you. And I hope that you are going to be ready to share with us every Monday night at 8 p.m., except for on holidays. We are gonna take some breaks. So, I want to start off by just asking you to make sure that if you're watching this, most likely you are following the Private Room with Tiffany Facebook page, but we also wanna make sure that as you meet our collab partners tonight, that you are following them too. So, if you're watching, you're already following us, right? Make sure that you follow the collab partners that you are going to meet here tonight. Make sure that you connect with all of the professionals that you are going to meet tonight. Make sure that you follow us so that you can find out what it is that we're going to be talking about, who we're going to be talking to, and all the amazing guests and topics that we are going to be covering right here on The Private Room. Part of me starting this podcast is so that I can showcase people that are just being their genuine selves. I know as a woman and being in my early 40s, I've been judged throughout my life. I've gone through you know, friendships, relationships, 
And there's times where I felt like I was being judged for who I am. I'm a very open-minded person. I'm a very intimate person. I love people. There's rarely anybody that I don't this that I don't like. And if I don't like them, there's usually a reason. But I always want people to be who they are. And sometimes I felt as a woman I was not able to do that. But there's so many different sides to me. There's so many different sides to you. And all of those sides are going to be showcased on the private room. We're going to be talking about so many things. So if you are interested in being a guest on the private room, if you have something to say, if you want to spotlight your, spotlight your business, if you want to talk about a topic that sometimes is hard to talk about, I want you to reach out to us because I want to hear from you. And so do other people want to hear from you. I want to make sure that the private room is a place where people can come on, they can be themselves, they can talk about whatever it is that they want to talk about, and that they're going to have a platform to really just dive in to whatever that they're passionate about. We're going to have demonstrations, we're going to have live performances, we're going to have a lot here on the private room with Tiffany. So please make sure that you follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, also on Twitter, and on YouTube. We are right now live on Facebook, we are live on YouTube, and we are also live on our personal pages of all the guests that are going to be on here tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I am very excited about you meeting everybody that is here tonight. I have a room full of people who came out tonight to come support the pilot tonight. Uh, we also have several people here who um, are going to be really showing off their skills, one in particular that I know that all of you are going to like, but I want to make sure that I show my appreciation for two key people who are really, um, who came out tonight to really show off and to really make sure that we had a good night. We came here at seven o'clock to kind of mingle, to meet with each other, to network, but we also made sure that we had um, some food tonight to make sure that we fed our bellies before we got started. So I'm going to call out our caterer for the night, Miss Tasina. Miss Tasina, come on down. Lady, 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 where are you? <laughs> so we have Miss Tasina with us tonight. And Ms. Cena, she catered our meal tonight. We had a lot of different delicious things on the menu. She said that she wasn't going to talk, but she's going to talk because we need to know what it is that we had on the menu tonight. Can you tell us what we had? Yes, tonight <laughs> we had um, barbecue meatballs, we had sliders, we had pasta salad, deviled eggs, and two different types of fake Nice, nice. So Tasina is not only a caterer, she also does decorating as well. Um, she is very good with crafts, so make sure that you follow her and she's going to tell us what her social media handles are before we let her go. Um, but wanted to just make sure that we show our appreciation for her because she came out tonight, made sure that she set up for us, and we had some delicious food while we were at it to get ready for tonight. So can you tell us what your social media handles are? Yes, my Facebook page is my name, Tasina Hatsu, and then my Instagram is Butter Pecan 2277. Butter Pecan, I can see why she's Butter Pecan, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. Tasina. Don't go too far, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're also going to bring out Mr. Mike, who is our photographer for the night. Come on down. Thank you. Thank you. So, if any of you have been following me, which hopefully a lot of you are, then you know that I have a boutique, which is Love and Lust Boutique. And I met the handsome Mr. Mike because he started doing my boudoir shoots. So, Mike, tell us about you. Tell us what it is that you do, what services you do, and then tell us how we can find you. Uh, so, right now with my wife, I did a whole expanded with the photography so now we're doing even kids pictures graduation and all that but we started and we specify we are specialized in boudoir if y'all want to find me y'all can go on my 
Instagram, which is Chavez uh, underscore collection. On the other one for the kids and all that, so y'all can, I separated it. That one is called Pool Perfect Studio LLC. And I also got now a YouTube channel that's called Have You Seen Savage? So I would love if y'all go see it. It's really dope. Some really nice interviews, just like the one she's doing. So y'all should check it out. Very nice. Um, tell us more about the the name because you were at first were Savage Collection, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, Art. and then you changed to Pool Perfect Studio. Okay. Can you tell so, me the, the meaning behind that? Yes. So. My wife, like always, always gonna have a good woman behind you that can help you. She always had the, I always wanted to stay in boudoir, but she always had the vision of growing bigger. So she wanted a name we can fit on everything. Proof perfect actually means that it's a Latin word for the past tense of perfect. So the way we look at it is like we take pictures for a perfect moment, but then you got the proof perfect memory. And then we got the Savage Collection, and we also got the other side for kids and stuff like that. But Savage Collection is still the name, but it's only for the boudoir section of everything. So that way we keep it separate. So when y'all go on the website, y'all go on my Instagram, y'all not looking at kids, and then I'm just looking at boudoir <laughs> also. Nice, nice. So um, if you are following my Instagram page, which is Love and Lust Beauty, you will see a lot of um, the Savage Collection or Mike's photos that he did for me for my boudoir sessions for Love and Lust. Um, so make sure that you go and follow both of us so that you can see his work. Um, so again, tell us what your social media handles are. For the boudoir on Instagram, it's Savage underscore collection. For the kids side of everything or the general side of everything, it's Cool Perfect Studio LLC. And then for my new YouTube channel, it's Have You Seen Savage? And that's on everything, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Nice. So, have you seen Savage? Tell, tell us yes. more. Tell us more. Uh, so, have you seen Savage? Is something I started doing where I just go. Right now, I'm doing it in Quinn City. I am about to travel and go to Miami and different places, but right now, I wanted to focus locally while I'm reside right now, which is Quinn City. And I just go out in the street. I usually, if y'all want to come out and get an interview, I'm usually by Los and Found. And I just do random interviews, most of them, for the time I'm doing it, is sex questions. So it's some really random sex questions. It's really dope. Yeah, a lot of people love it. It gets really crazy. So y'all yeah, should definitely check it out. I got a, I got a few videos already on YouTube, and I got a lot of them on and TikTok also. Nice. Well, we're gonna have to get you back on here. Um, September nineteenth, we are doing a lifestyle episode where we're gonna be talking about different lifestyles. Um, so we might have to get you back out so we can uh, see what you asking people on the street. I'm down with it. <laughs> all right, nice. Thank you. Mike will be back with us later on when we have all the guys. Um, but right now, we're going to bring the ladies to the couch. So ladies, come on down. Come on down. Sit right <laughs> <laughs> yes. There we go. So we can even out the even go. out the sexiness going on here now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, tonight, as I said earlier, you are meeting the private room team. So I made sure that I went out there and I sought the universe for some spectacular people, some that I had already known and already had friendships, relationships with, and then I found a couple of new. Um, so that we can be able to share different subjects and different topics here on the private room. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start this way um, and just letting you know who everybody is and kind of the reason why I brought them on. Um, so one of the topics that we're definitely going to be covering on the private room because we're all business owners, right? So one of them is I wanted to talk about, you know, business, starting your own business, finances, financing your business, um, and also, you know, I'm thinking about, well not thinking about, I'm trying to buy a house next year for my family. 
So, I made sure that I reached out to Miss Lucretia because I was like, girl, I need to get my credit straight and I need to know what I need to do to buy a house. And so, I reached out to Miss Lucretia. She also came out and was a speaker at the Urban City Connect event that we had a couple of months ago talking to businesses about financing um, their businesses and how to, I'm going to stop, Lucretia. <laughs> I don't want to tell everything, so tell us who you are, tell us what you do, and um, this is our uh, financing expert. <laughs> my name is Finance Muslima. I help minority women dominate mindset and money. My name is Finance Muslima. I help minority <laughs> women dominate mindset and money. So I like to say I help minority women go from poverty to pay in a mindset sense and also in a physical cash flow sense. Nice, 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 I love it. Okay, so um, I'm a new business owner. I come to you, what are some of the things or some of the services that you can provide for startup businesses? New businesses. Finances is always the number one conversation. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely gonna have conversation on mindset mm -hmm. because it gotta be some strategy on the back end um, so that we can make sure we know how to put the money to work for us mm -hmm. before we jump into going to get the money, right? Because yes. we can yes. get the money, get approved for the bag, and then we can fund for the bag, right? Right, so right. We don't right. want to do that. Right. But yeah, so new business owners, I, I always suggest new business owners get coaches. Mm -hmm. Always suggest new business have coaches, um, mentors, a lot of things like that, um, so that you don't take 10 years to do what you can do in one year. Right. Um, that a lot of us have done, which is the reason I love doing what I do. New business owners, I suggest that you have a coach. I suggest that you really love what you do and don't do it for money. Mm -hmm. um, and I suggest that you always stay surrounded with um, people who are going where you're going, not where you were. Right. And when it comes to the finance part, um, personal credit is always good. Keep your credit good. Um, and in order to keep your personal credit good, you've got to be good with the money management. So, you know, you can get the business credit as well and leverage it for the business. But it's a, it's a very important thing. It's a huge role. It's like getting a mortgage. Right. Right? Because you can have good credit and the bank will give you the mortgage, but as fast as people are buying homes, they're foreclosing as well. So do you have the structure, the discipline that it takes to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really yeah. make sure you're going to be good. Right, right. Um, okay, so we have our business established, right? Um, say we want to buy a business car or we want to do, you know, get more equipment or something like that. What are some of the services that you provide for established businesses? Established businesses. So right now, um, so I have a mindset of money four week coaching program for 997. I've been doing it for like a year. Um, I have come to know that a lot of business owners that's already in the game need one on one. They need accountability. They need resources, right? So I have um, a money strategy um, session call that I'm doing right now. One hour, $450. So basically, like, you tell me where you are, and I'm going to give you the whole play on the back end, like, this is what I want you to do. Right. Come back and tell me how it goes, which right. I want to work, okay. right? Yeah, so established businesses, um, money strategy session, $150 for an hour. Um, typically, they do come back, but I did that because, um, and also telling them to grab by financial planner as well, because it goes together. If they, if they can't afford, uh, <laughs> if, you, if you can't afford the 997, so that's the next best thing. Mm -hmm. um, because you can have, you can, you can purchase courses. You can go to as many networking events as you want. But the bottom line is, you need to know you got to put the work in. Right. But in order to put the work in, you got, I got to know what work to do. Right. 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 So mm -hmm. I definitely would say um, my hour strategy session will get you right if you're in business. Nice. Nice. Okay. So I just want to get your insight on the current housing market. Now I know you're not a real estate agent, you're not a, a you know a broker, but I'm sure a lot of people like myself are like, should we buy a house right now? Should we do this? What do we need to do to get ready to buy a house? But the the, the housing market is crazy right now. Yeah. So I have um, my credit repair company, Cullen Credit. It's hundred um, percent outsourced. I'm blessed and grateful to say that, right? Um, but yeah, so I started that credit repair company because I only want to work with women. I want to get women in houses. Okay. 
mm -hmm. right? So the, the referrals come from realtors and lenders and so forth. And right now, the conversation um, the lenders and the realtors are having is like, you should buy. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I think like as of yesterday, the conversation was like, it was starting to get a little bit better for buyers, mm -hmm. right. but it wasn't, they don't know if it's going to go back to how it was. Um, so the bottom line is, I don't think that you should wait to get in the game mm -hmm. because rent is still going to keep increasing. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like if money is, is an issue, like far as you be like, okay, we can get the money to get in the home. Right. I think a lot, like really the bottom line is we just need to make more money. Right. <laughs> right. Because yeah. if you, you know, people be like, oh, I pay $1,200 rent, I can pay $1,200 mortgage. Yeah, I do see that to be true, but I don't see it lasting if you don't have discipline with money. If you don't know how to make money work for you, you would have to ever be a slave to it. So right. it'll work for the time being, but it's not going to be no longevity. Right, right, yeah. And what what made you start doing this? Tell, tell us your story. It's too long. <laughs> okay, okay, like a, a snippet, <laughs> a, just a snippet of so, a story. <laughs> so yeah, um, 11, 11 and a half years ago, I, I started, uh, I'm from Philly. I was selling cupcakes in my car. $5 on okay. my car, like at festivals. So um, I just knew that I knew how to uh, bake and, and I love to cook. Right. So I just started doing what I knew how to do. Okay. And I just started going where the other entrepreneurs were in my city and we were just all bragging. Right. Um, I, I went to nursing school after high school because I had to do something, but the office environment burnt me out. Mm -hmm. I get anxiety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm such a big dream and visionary. Like it was getting too crowded for me mentally. I didn't right. like it. So um, definitely just chasing no cap income. I don't like income. Right. Like to be like, oh, I want twenty five dollars an hour. Um, because if, if when you learn how to do, um, you know, people are really struggling right now. Mm -hmm. If you teach somebody how to make five hundred dollars in a day, they want to be super excited, right? Because people don't even have five hundred dollars after they pay their bills every month. Right. So when you learn how to do a thousand, two thousand dollars in a week, all that kind of stuff, it just makes you dream bigger. Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely was just chasing no cap income, like yo, what I got to do to live this life? Because this is not it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Came to Charlotte. Uh, February would be 10 years I've been in Charlotte. And I literally threw myself on the business scene in Charlotte before I even had a place here. Nice. So I was flying out here looking for apartments, going to everything on event break. Uh -huh. And a lot of those relationships are so crazy. Nine years I'm still friends with those people from the tour nice. cupcakes, bacon, all the way to the finance industry. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well, you have definitely been. Um, beneficial to me personally and professionally. Um, I know that right now my number one goal is to buy a house for my family, hopefully next year, and I know that you're the you're the woman that's gonna start that process for me. Um, so I had to have you on my team because I appreciate you as a woman and what you're trying to do for other women. So, um, thank you. You always call me out, I appreciate you. <laughs> you, do. I do. you do. I do, you do. I do. And when you're ready to buy a house, we wanna get you with all yes. the A1 realtors. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. lenders to get you some money. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so this is my new friend because I wanted to make sure that we talked about finances, we talked about having our own business. I wanted to talk about healthy living. You can't, okay, so you have to have healthy mental health, you have to have healthy physical health. Um, most of y'all, if y'all saw me about two years ago, I was a big girl. I was like 100 pounds heavier than I am now. Um, I could like hardly, hardly go up the steps because I was just out of breath. And then having the baby, I was just like, you know what? I need to be able to chase after her. And I knew that I couldn't do that because I have, um, I have five around it which causes me to be in intense pain. I have some level of pain every day, even still with the pounds off. Um, but I also had to change my mindset. <laughs> I had to change my eating, which I was kind of forced to. Um, but I also had to think about, I have teenagers too, and I need them to be healthy for their, for their sister, but also for themselves. So we have to talk about healthy living and healthy eating and all that great stuff. Mm -hmm.
and I put it out there, who is the expert? I don't know if I'm the expert, but all right. <laughs> and you were one of the people that was tagged. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be quite honest, I went to your picture and I was like, oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> I did, I'm gonna yeah. be honest, I did. Yeah. I did. So she's beautiful. So um, tell us about you, mm -hmm. tell us what you do, tell us, you know, <clears throat> Tell us about what you do, what your services are, yes. um, and um, why you're our expert, yes. our healthy living expert. So, I, so first things first, one, thank you so much for the compliment, <laughs> but um, two, I don't know that I'm the expert. I just dove in and, and it became something that was I was very passionate about. So first things, I'm Ranielle Pierce. Um, we just moved to Charlotte about five months ago, me, my fiance, and, and my daughter, mm -hmm. and I, about two years ago, I was at my heaviest. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't, like so many other people, I wasn't healthy mentally or physically. Yeah. And so as this beautiful queen said, <laughs> it, it's all about your mindset. Like if you, if you can get your mind together, the rest will follow. Mm -hmm. But the other piece of it is if you can get your gut together, the rest will follow. Mm -hmm. And so I, I really started researching the ailments that I had. And every single ailment that I had was tied to my gut. So in my mind, I said, okay, if I can fix my gut and heal my gut, what else can I do? Right. Um, so I became an independent uh, gut health um, entrepreneur for a company called Plexus Worldwide okay. that is targeted towards healing the gut from the inside out. And two years later, I, um, you know, I lost 23 pounds. Mm -hmm. My anxiety was gone. I had allergies for 30 plus years of my life. My daughter came out of the womb with allergies. Mm. So bad that we had allergy shots. Mm -hmm. And I said, there's got to be another way. Right. One, there's got to be another way to lose weight because at one point I was on fitter me. Mm -hmm. Me too. I, uh -huh. <laughs> and then, it, but in your mind, you're like, if I have to go to the doctor every 30 days, for you to check my blood pressure, for you to check my blood, should I really be using this product? Right. And so I started taking plant-based supplements and the world was my oyster. And it was something that I have been and continue to be passionate about, especially amongst our community. Mm -hmm. Because we go to the doctor for everything. Mm -hmm. And they give you a medication for that ailment and uh oh, now you got a side effect, right. and let me give you another medication for that side effect, mm -hmm. and it's become cyclical. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah. So it's like everything, you get that, that little sheet that they give you with your medication yes. that tells you what it's for, mm -hmm. and the side effects, and the interactions, and so forth and so on. Um, so I like that when you said that you start with the gut to the inside out. Mm -hmm. So tell us your personal experience mm -hmm. of this whole gut thing yes <laughs> tell, tell us tell us <laughs> <laughs> tell us the gut thing yeah so so my personal experience with it was um when you think about your skin you go to the dermatologist you're you're treating something on, on the surface mm -hmm. but they're not telling you that if i treat my gut then i can deal with the surface will go away because when the things pop up on the surface that is your gut telling you hey right. hey girl <laughs> hey you Something ain't right. Right. Um, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, fibromyalgia, right. obesity, all of those things are tied to your gut. Yeah. So for me, like I said, I had to get my I had to get my mind together. Because honey, <laughs> if it was a carb or a sugar on this earth, I loved it. Right, right. Okay, okay. Coffee two, three times a day. Yes, two, three times, <laughs> two, three cups at minimum. And I, I can assure you, I wasn't drinking no all black coffee. Right. No. Right. Like all Starbucks the sugar, today. all the cream, <laughs> all together. Got it. Got and it. crashing after. Okay. okay. So for me, it was a mindset shift. Mm -hmm. I, the products that I started taking, one was targeted towards cleansing my gut. And I know when most people think about cleansing your gut, you think about, uh oh, I'm, I'm running mm -hmm. to the restroom. Mm -hmm. No, right. it was it was gently cleansing my gut on a daily basis because our Western diet mm -hmm. 
is chucked full of I won't say the word on on on, on, <laughs> you on can the screen. Ch Chuck full of shit. Okay. Yes. Yes. You can say the word. Okay. <laughs> and so you think about it, we should be 80% of our body should be good bacteria. 20% should be bad. In America, it's the, it's flip flop. If any of you on on this live search candida yeast. Okay. Okay. Candida is a yeast that we should have a you're born with a very little amount. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's used to help the body decompose itself when you die. Okay. Most of us have an obscene <laughs> overgrowth of candida yeast. Right. Which is causing us to be backed up, right. constipation, bloating, again, high blood pressure, diabetes, fibromyalgia, eczema, you the list goes on. Right. Depression, mm -hmm. ADHD, all of those things are tied to your gut. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is deep. Oh, yes. So I know when I moved from the DMV, Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. to here, you always hear northern people say, I didn't have all them allergies until I moved to the south. Lies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. I'm born and raised outside, right outside of Chicago. Okay. And baby, I had all of those allergies okay. before I moved <laughs> to Texas. Okay. So that, that one had nothing to, it's a different type of allergies because it's right. different type of trees and different right. types of pollen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that environment. Mm -hmm. But you had the allergies before you came. Okay. Y'all okay. Mm -hmm. okay. heard that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So <laughs> my household, so my husband, mm -hmm. um, my son, and I believe baby girl, mm -hmm. they have allergy stuff going mm -hmm. on. So can you give us a little snippet mm -hmm. of what we can do about those allergies yes. with you? Yes, absolutely. You can, tar you can target that gut. Give me that whip. <laughs> I don't want that baby whip. I want the where's the big whip? <laughs> yeah, bring us that big yeah, whip. Yes. Bring that the big whip. The big one. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Y'all hear about this later on. It's like I love doing it. But but for this, uh -huh. baby, you call me because okay. I can whip that good okay. any day. Okay. Okay. We okay. even we even have vitamins uh -huh. for baby girl. Okay. Your fourteen year old can take the. The, the regular size vitamins. Okay, okay. Both of them. Uh -huh. okay. But that's the one thing I love about our products. Mm -hmm. the, the, it's full family nutrition. Okay. Because everybody with a gut mm -hmm. needs these products. Right, right. And, and I say this to anybody I, on the street, mm -hmm. I talk to people in the airplane, I don't care. It's not about the money for me. Right. If I never sold these products again, my family, every day and every night would take these supplements. Mm -hmm. That's how much I believe in them and, and they're healing for people. Very nice, very nice. Well, I'm definitely gonna reach out to you because like I said, my husband, my son, now baby girl, mm -hmm. pretty sure that she has allergies, mm -hmm. allergy issues as well. Um, they go through it and oh, yeah. I feel so bad for mm -hmm. them um, between the eyes watering yes. and the throat mm -hmm. itching. Oh, that, that, was, yeah. yes. <laughs> that was me, I could make a sound. Uh -huh. To scratch my throat, right? And my sister, <laughs> it would drive her crazy mm -hmm. because I, that was the only way I could scratch my throat. Right. My nose was congested. I was right. getting sinus infection, mucus buildup. It's all in there. Oh, medication. All taking med shots. Every we night. were taking shots. <laughs> I would have to alter my medication because my body would get used to Claritin. Yeah. And then I'd switch it and go to Zyrtec. Right. And then right. I'd go back and go uh -huh. to Zyrtec. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it was a disaster. Yeah. 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 Yes. No. Yeah. yeah, well, we definitely will be reaching out yes. because, um, yeah, my house goes through it. Oh, yeah. So, thankfully, myself and my um, my oldest daughter, mm -hmm. we haven't been having any issues. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's rampant yes. in our house, especially right now. Mm -hmm. Especially right now. Yes. <laughs> All yes. right. All right. Cool. All right. So, tell everybody how they can find you. So, you can find me, um, Ranielle. So, think about Danielle, except put a Ron on the front of it. <laughs> Uh, Ranielle underscore Pierce 34 on Instagram and on Facebook you can just find me at Ranielle Pierce. Very nice. All Very right. Nice. All right. Are you going? Are you going to get it? Up? No, I'm going to give this up because she needs this <laughs> no, to talk. I got the small one. You oh. keep the big one. Okay. Well, I made I made my point with it, so I'm good. I, I leave it here in the event that anybody else needs their good in the show. Love it. <laughs> so, hi Michelle. Hi Tiffany. <laughs> So, Miss 
Michelle is our lifestyle, and I'm calling them experts because they're good at what they do, okay? So our lifestyle expert over here, Miss Michelle. Um, I have had the pleasure of meeting Miss Michelle at a couple of different events. I've gone to some of her parties. I've seen what she can do. I can see the sex appeal every time that I see her. And she's gonna be on with us a, a lot. Cause we're gonna be really talking, that's what we're gonna be talking about, right? We're gonna be talking about lifestyles, relationships, sex, business, finance, healthy living, all that good stuff. So you'll see a lot of Miss Michelle, just like you will of Miss Lucretia and Miss Rynell. Um, so tell us about you. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. I've, I've gotten a couple pings that it's been kind of hard to hear, so I'm trying right. to talk a little loud. I'm a little camera shy. I know that's hard to believe. Um, I'm always like, yeah, turn on the camera, let's film. Um, and then as soon as as soon as the camera comes on, I'm like a deer with headlights. Right. But um, my name is Michelle of Michelle's Toy Box, and I have an adult home party business. So it's a lot like Mary Kay and Avon. Um, if you guys have ever talking about business, um, thought about doing business and do not have a lot of startup costs or investment money, you can think about a home party plan. So if you guys have ever been into direct selling, that's basically what it is. It's, um, uh, uh, I would say a smaller version of a multi-level marketing company. Mm -hmm. um, but I do offer business. So if you guys are interested in how you can get started in selling adult products, definitely inbox me and we can talk about that with Miss, Miss um, Lucretia. Lucretia. <laughs> she'll, she'll be here to help us. We got everything going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and definitely. So I've done that for 14 years now. I'm um, going on 15 years. Okay. Adult home parties, um, specializing in girls night out, bachelorette parties, oh. couples parties. Um, so, you know, get the girls together, have a night in, learn some stuff, play. I'll come over and play with you and your friends. <laughs> Give you guys a night to remember. Um, definitely do a lot of vendor shows, trade shows, club pop-ups, pretty much any adult themed um, event that you may need my services. I'm, I'm here. I do podcasts. Um, and that um, kind of went into how I met Tiffany. One of my biggest collaborators is uh, Foreplay NC out of Raleigh Durham area. So if you Raleigh Durham people are tuning in tonight, then you may recognize me. I met Miss Tiffany as she was vending for Love and Lust, um, her boutique, um, through the Four Play NC shows. And then of course, while I'm here tonight, another leg of business is the lifestyle um, parties that I have recently started to host in the last year. <laughs> <laughs> lots of lots of fun. Lots of Nice. Okay, so what made you get into the adult toys? Um, actually, it was uh, my full-time job at one point. A lot of you may not know, but Adam and Eve um, is uh, Orange County's third largest employer. Um, so, and that is um, the private Adam and Eve, meaning the corporate Adam and Eve. It is not publicly traded okay. on, on the public, um, you know, trade, yeah, you know, stock market, but. <laughs> But they are a private company thriving in Orange County. And um, I worked for them for seven years um, as the administrator to the busy CEO of that home park plan. Nice. And when that, and, yeah, I mean, we had well over a thousand consultants all, all around the United States. Um, and when they closed that division, um, unfortunately, all 10 of us corporately lost our jobs. But our top performer who was making forty thousand dollars a year selling sex toys i mean right that's a lot and she did that for 17 years of her life started her own company and being that i know the benefits of um owning your own business um tax write-offs a plethora of things that that i'm sure that you guys will hear about um, throughout <laughs> the, the private show um, I, I joined, I, I got on board because I saw the opportunity um, to expand myself financially. Nice, nice. Okay, so you started it. Um, financial reasons, I hear that, but I'm sure there's some personal reasons in there. It's so fun! Right! <laughs> <laughs> so I got the memo, you said red accessories, so here I am right. with all of my red accessories. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So, do you mind showing us what you have? 
Um, so the first accessory I have is the dog collar, uh -oh. collar. Watch out there. Yeah. Um, definitely nice. one of the mo more popular props for the lifestyle parties. Uh -huh. I have the baby whip. See, I told you. We got the <laughs> big mama whip here. We got handcuffs. Um, but a, a wide range of products um, stemming from anything like, like massage oils. Um, even I think I tell couples a lot of times, just sitting down and browsing through the catalog sometimes, look, looking at dirty magazines, you know, back <laughs> in the 70s and 80s, it gets the conversation going. Um, and it allows you to learn something about your partner. I mean, partners who've been together 10, 20, 30 years can really learn something about themselves just from the conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you started the adult toy business, were you also engaged in the lifestyle then? Oh, we getting personal here. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know about the lifestyle then? Um, well, that, that's a better question. I can say that as a vendor, that's how I got introduced okay. into the lifestyle okay. parties because I would be a vendor at these private, invite-only type of right. parties. Um, various numbers of type of events, type <laughs> of kink events, things that I saw broadened my horizons, um, <laughs> definitely got exposed to some new things. Um, I was in a 10 year relationship with someone and he and I experienced a lot um, when it comes to the lifestyle. I think a lot of times when you say lifestyle, people think, oh, there's some swingers. Right, because right. yeah, I'm confused. Uh, listen, I'm sitting here confused on what y'all <laughs> talking about, about lifestyle. We're, and that's what I, that was going to be my next question. Oh, okay, good. What that's is good. the lifestyle? Okay, ladies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I, and I think that's what it's meant to be. Oh, right? is it? I think so. I think a lot of times, you know, what you do in the bedroom is in your bedroom behind closed doors for a reason, right? right. Because you don't want everybody else to know. Unless it's on um, ABC, CNN, and all of those. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, you may be into chains and whips. You may be into leather. You might be willing to let another woman come into your bedroom, but you're definitely not going to go to work at 8 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. with your leather cloud vest <laughs> and your high heels and your fishnets talking about the threesome that you had last <laughs> night. I mean, you know, corporate is not going to allow that. <laughs> Corporate is just not gonna have it. They're gonna look at you like you sell cocaine and you just got out of jail. Um, so I think I'm a curator of dope vibes. Yeah. Um, I help bring that experience out because we definitely want to be able to feel comfortable within ourselves. You know, whether we are into um, BBW or male, male, female, or switch swapping with another couple, also known as swinging. Right. Um, <laughs> I would like to have an environment where us as especially our community, um, African American community, um, can feel comfortable. A lot of times, I mean, you, you guys have heard that old adage, I mean, you know, in the corporate world especially, we as black individuals, black women, we have to try harder, we have to work twice as hard, work longer, you know, speak King's English, dress appropriately. Um, you know, we're not allowed to say that our baby daddy has been locked up and we have three kids. <laughs> I mean, you know, these type of things. But, I mean, it happens and it's out there and um, we've been taught to be a certain way and that these things are not acceptable. But yet, when the doors are closed, I mean, we are putting on our love and lust lingerie <laughs> and whipping that man into shape, All right. okay? Um, so I think it just, the, when I say the lifestyle party and what I will offer and we'll talk about, I don't want to take up all the time mm -hmm. because we could talk about this all night, guys. Yeah, we will be, we will be right. September 19th. We'll it's just, about. you know, it's a place where everyone can feel comfortable. Um, definitely, as we get into it, we can talk about the branch off parties, but when you hear me say lifestyle party it is simply that I mean a party that you can come to it has a DJ everybody's dressed in regular clothes when we show up um, we come with our lovers we come by ourselves if we're single we come with our friends if we're coming with the girls and we're just coming to check out the scene mm -hmm. and everyone there is like-minded and they're um, open-minded you know some of them may be swingers some of them may be monogamous who just want an atmosphere like the strip club where it's some naked women and some tits showing. <laughs> I mean, it's really just an atmosphere for anyone who may be part of any alternative lifestyle, even if it's just being a voyeur, or maybe you 
want to be explorer and just get topless in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, at some point in the night during the lifestyle party, there will be a time for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you feel uncomfortable at any point, you're welcome to leave. I mean, we, we are definitely a no pressure lifestyle party group. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, nice, nice. Well, love it. yes, so <laughs> September 19th, you will see Miss Michelle again. Um, so we're gonna have different people from different lifestyles. So for me, when I say lifestyle, is how you choose to live, mm -hmm. how you choose to live, and it's unapologetically you, okay? So whether it is that you are, you know, heterosexual, bisexual, you know, uh, homosexual, whether you are part of a, a couple, whether you're single, you want to be with five people, you want to be with one person, you know, you want to date other couples together. So lifestyles can be a variety of different things, but it's mainly what it is that you choose to do with your life and it's your life, <laughs> right? Yeah, definitely. Yes. So on September 19th, you're going to meet different people from different lifestyles, monogamous, um, poly, polyamorous, um, uh, swingers. You're going to meet different couples, different single women, different single men who are just going to really talk about, you know, that private room discussion that not everybody talks about September 19th. All right. All right. So let me put my hashtags out there. Yes. Um, so if you are interested in following me on social media, on Facebook and Instagram, Michelle's Toy Box. Um, if you are interested in following um, the collaborator I mentioned for the erotic poetry and pole dancing shows, that would be foreplaync.com on Facebook and foreplaync on Instagram. And um, if you are interested in following the lifestyle group, you can find us on Instagram. I just created a new page since we are kind of putting this out here debut. It's Max Life Group. Um, and just inbox me if you're interested. We vet every single member. Um, so it's definitely something that's secret. Gives you that yeah. um, privacy that every couple um, as single may be looking for. So just look me up. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. So ladies, I'm going to let you saunter off so we can talk to the men. <laughs> We are going to bring on three um, amazing guys. One of them is my husband. So we're going to have Cedric, Jonathan, Mr. Mike is going to join us. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hi. All right. So we have brought our men to the couch who are our collab partners. And real quickly, Mike, come here. Oh. <laughs> we don't want to forget about the people behind the scenes. And we're going to get wifey over there too if she wants to. Um, so we have Mike with us, who is our videographer for the night. And most likely, he will be our private room videographer going forward, if he is interested. Um, so Mike, tell us who you are. Um, before we let you get back to your camera. Um, my name is Mike Ivory from New Jersey. I've been in Charlotte six years. Been doing photography since 2009. Picked up video 2017 and I have a look back. I can be located at EG underscore media professionals and um, media Mike Ivory. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mike. Without you, this wouldn't even be possible. So, <laughs> thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to start this way. So, for you as the photographer, what has been your experience with women when it comes to doing boudoir photos and their reasons for doing boudoir photos? So, it's a, it's a big range of, of why. Like, you will, have, you will have business owners like yourself that want to do it to promote their business, lingerie business. And then you have the ones that maybe they're like everyday housewives. They got into this routine already. They want to feel something different. They want to feel beautiful. So that's another type of person you will get. You also get the other type of business owners <clears throat> where they own their own like OnlyFans or own or they models and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's many different reasons of why they do it. Uh, a lot of things I noticed at the end of the day, all of them, even the models, all of them, every female also feel beautiful. So 
when they do the pitches, it could be the models. I'm saying it could be the models I've been doing this for a long as only fans and all that. And they still, every time they get with me, they still love it. They still feel beautiful. They still love the experience. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I learned yeah. that every every female want to feel beautiful when they're doing it. So I do recommend every female to do it, even if you're scared, still do it. At the end of the day, you're gonna see a whole different side of you. I bet after that you're gonna be hitting her up so you can get some <laughs> some. Uh, on chains and whips and stuff, it's a whole different vibe. You find yourself in a whole different world that's really, it's really dope, so. Right, right. Well, I definitely wanted to um, have you talk about Blue Water Photos because um, one of the reasons why I started Love and Lust is because not only did I have the need at the time to feel sexy and to feel beautiful and so forth, but it's also to really empower women to just love themselves for who they are, no matter what size you are. And I really, really think that um, doing a boudoir session does that for a lot of women, even if they walk in the door scared. Um, because one thing, working with you, and I, we've done several shoots together, um, you're, you're not a creep. <laughs> You know, it's not about <laughs> seeing us in the most scantily, you know, pieces or even nude. Um, that's that's not that's not what you're there for. You're there to be a professional, to to guide, to be respectful, um, but then really to just help women to just be comfortable in their own skin. Um, for me, I preferred a male photographer to do my boudoir session. Um, but there are female photographers that do it as well. But you've always made me feel comfortable. I never felt as if, um, you know, you were pressuring me to do anything. I never felt as if I wasn't safe. Um, and my photos always came out beautiful. Every single time. Them, every single time. Um, and every single time I came, I felt more and more comfortable. And I think you said the last session, you were like, wait, <laughs> you really are into this. And yeah. that's because you make me feel comfortable every single time. So ladies, I definitely recommend, if you've never do, done a boudoir session, um, you know, they're, they're, you can call him for family photos, you can call him for your headshots. I really, really highly recommend um, booking a boudoir session because they, it, it's something that I promise you, you will walk away with an experience where you really get to connect with yourself, with your own sexuality, and just as, as a woman. Um, so highly recommend it. So Mike, tell everybody again how they can reach you. Uh, so y'all can, for Boudoir, y'all can look, at me, look me up on Instagram at Savage Collection, Savage underscore, underscore collection. For the general, y'all can go into Public uh, Perfect Studio, LLC. And for my YouTube channel, also y'all can check it out. Have you seen Savage? Very nice, very nice. Does your wife mind coming over for a second? <laughs> he said it earlier, you cannot have a great man without a great woman and we my husband had the pleasure of marrying these two beautiful people um so just wanted to i wanted to bring you over to say thank you um because you know as a woman i don't know how i, I would feel about him seeing a bunch of <laughs> sexy gorgeous half nude women sometimes but you have always been really really cool um about it so um Tell us, tell us how you, how this is when it comes to having your family and your your husband doing these kind of shoots. Um, it's nice to hear all the females when after, during the shooting mm -hmm. and after how comfortable he makes them feel. The atmosphere is so cool. They they do extra stuff and right. it don't feel like inappropriate mm -hmm. in any kind of way. So I'm so proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> they make them feel good. Yeah. And um, I gotta say, I, I give it, I give it to you. I'm, I'm not the jealous type. So I would, if he came home and was like, I'm about to go take some pictures as I'm naked. I'm gonna be like, yes, <laughs> right. Um, but a lot of women would not be able to handle that. So for you, how do, you, how do you handle that? I met you actually when he was editing the pictures. And I was like, oh, what a beautiful smile she got. <laughs> so I help him and. Even if I'm there, I'm not judging what is happening on the scene. I'm just trying to make sure I cover the the tags, make sure they got the lotion, they right. smile. <laughs> I'm I'm just happy that he's doing something that he helps us to feel more comfortable in our in our own skin, like you said. Right, right. Yeah. Dream work makes dream work. Yep, yes. it definitely does. <laughs> and I mean, it helps because you're gorgeous and, and very sexy as Thank well. You. So um, he has a he has a good knee. 
He has a good means. Okay, awesome. Well, thank y'all so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. We are going to move on to Mr. Jonathan. So I have known Jonathan for... Since 2017. 2017. Yeah. 2000, so before the Speak Up and Inspire series, around the time where I started Butterfly Visions Project, um, which is a domestic violence sexual assault um, organization helping um, victims and survivors. Um, and Jonathan does a lot of PR and marketing for me. So tell everybody who you are, what you do, and um, how to find you. Oh yes, yeah. so I'm Jonathan Coleman with the Media Blast PR, Public Relations Specialist. Uh, now PR also stands for Private Room on the Private Room Specialist. <laughs> you know, I've been working with Tiffany since 2017. We met. Uh, at, renewed, at a renewed inspiration event, so that's one of my other clients. They do things in the community with uh, with at risk at risk teenage girls and uh, giving them positive things to do in the community. And uh, that's where I met Tiffany and Clarissa Byers, who's head of Renewed Inspiration. Said you need to hook up with Jay. You want to get you know some more get your get your you know brand out. So we've been working ever since. So that should tell you I do good business. If uh, it's 2022 and we're still here. Yes. Uh, yes. Still definitely. Running. Definitely. Um, you do really, really good work. Um, you're always hands-on with everybody. Um, you support, and that's one of the reasons why I had to have you on the team. I had to, you're on the Urban City Connect team as well, um, because you do really, really good work, and you definitely believe in everybody that you represent. Um, so um, you're not only known for your PR and marketing work, but also um, helping brand African-American um, business owners. So tell us about that. Oh yes, I have a project called Blacktopia. You can check us out at blacktopia.org. We also have a Blacktopia Facebook group. Um, what basically the theme of Blacktopia is uh, keeping the, well we have a lot of things going on with Blacktopia, but the main thing is to keep the dollars circulating in our community and uh, economic empowerment for our people. You know, and that's what it is. We also have some fun things going on in the Blacktopia Facebook group, so uh, definitely join us in there. Right. Um, so I'm just going to put this little tidbit in there. Our whole team is not here tonight. So um, we have, um, you know, women, we have men. You've seen most of us are African American, but that is not what we tailor to with specifically. Um, we have a couple of members on our team that are of other cultures and other ethnicities. So I think that's really important for, for me to bring out because I'm also multiracial as well. Um, so Blacktopia is definitely a amazing platform for black professionals, black business owners. Um, he does remarkable PR and marketing for black owned businesses, minority owned businesses. Um, and then something that I also said to Jonathan was, because I'm multiracial and because um, I believe in representing all cultures, that I wanted to make sure that when he was branding me and marketing me, that he was able to give that added flavor of being able to market to other ethnicities as well. So even though um, he has Blacktopia, does not mean that he only helps African American professionals and business owners. He can help all business owners with marketing um, and uh, branding their brands. Um, and he does a very, very, very good job, as evident because he's here five years later yes. working with me. So oh, yeah. um, can you share a couple of your um, your clients with us? Uh, yes, uh, like I said, Renew, uh, Clarissa Byers and Renewed Inspiration. I uh, also work with uh, Felicia Rivers and Geechee One Films. She has movies that are on Amazon Prime and Tubi. And uh, what's another app she's on? Well, yeah, the, for right now, I have a brain fart, but that's what she's <laughs> on. Um, I work with rappers such as Big Pap, who's in Tennessee. Uh, K. Davis, the hitman, he's the nephew of the legendary Dougie Fresh. And uh, K. Davis, K. Davis, the hitman, is going to be a guest on, on the 22nd. Right. And, you know, uh, spitting his, uh, his song. Uh, Dougie Fresh, that's produced by Dougie Fresh. Uh, uh, Tanae Staley, who uh, you know Mike also works with mm -hmm. and does videography with. She's one of my clients. I just work with a little bit of everybody. You know, although Blacktopia is for you know a certain demographic, as long as your money green, <laughs> you know, I work with everybody. Right. You know? That part. <laughs> that part. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I can also ha I have platforms, you know, outside of Blacktopia that I can be advertised and featured on. Right, right. Yeah. And I can attest to that, because it's really important, I think, especially if you have 
um, like like someone said that they had a, a cooking business, a baking business. Um, he's a, a branding specialist. You have a photographer. So we want to make sure that our different brands are reaching all cultures, all ethnicities, all backgrounds, and you definitely can do that. Oh, yes. Definitely can do that. So thank you so much. How can people find you? Uh, yes, you can email me at info at themediablast.net. You can also pop, follow me on Instagram at, uh, at J-A-Y-F-O-R-N-O-W. You know, I got to say J for now because some people put the, the <laughs> J and the four, and, you know. So uh, J for now. And uh, you can also, I'll give you my cell number, 704-560-2752. Just send me a text first because I, you know, my, you're not on my phone, I probably won't answer anyway. <laughs> 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 yeah, got to screen the calls. Um, right, and he's very good at getting back to messages, emails, um, DMs, all of that good stuff. So if you are looking for PR, marketing, um, any kind of, even uh, EPKs, biographies, all, all that stuff. All that stuff. Press releases, all that. Yes, that. <laughs> he can do it. He can do it for you. Um, he did it for me. He can definitely do it for you. Um, so we're going to move on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> put me on the spot like that. <laughs> so, this right here is Cedric Sanders, who is best known as my husband. That's, what, that's what best known as. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's on the top. That's on the top. On the top of my list, on right my there, resume. Right on the resume. <laughs> Tiffany's husband. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so, I met Cedric actually through a connect because I was looking for a logo for my um, nonprofit or youth organization that I started. And so that's how we met. Um, I told him that I had a nonprofit and that I thought that he was charging too much for a nonprofit, even though he doesn't charge that much. Um, well, he charges what he's worth, but not the way I, I made it. You, you know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, so that's how I met Cedric, and um, we've been together ever since. Um. That's where you're going to leave it at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so, 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 look, that, how the story started, you know, when black people start. So, boom, right? <laughs> boom. So, <laughs> she was like, oh, you charging too much. No, I don't think I can do that. And I was just like, okay, well, you know, you go on about your business. It's okay. So then, you know, found her on Facebook. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Waited for her to accept the request. So I was scrolling through those pictures now. I was, I was a little younger then, you know what I'm saying? We talked about what, six, seven years ago. So, you know, give me some credit. But, you know, I'm scrolling through the pictures, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> So, I just, you know, I don't have no game. So I was just like, hey, you know what? Well, we can still get up for lunch or something. <laughs> she was like, oh, you too young. And I was like, you might be young, but you're ready. <laughs> now, mind you, she left me on red for a really long time, but I just kept sending her messages, making her laugh, and I knew she was laughing. <laughs> I knew she was laughing, even though she wasn't responding, but she was definitely laughing. She can tell you, she was laughing. And, and eventually, she was like, I'm gonna just give him a chance. And then it just went from there. So don't, don't let her fool you, it's Mr. Sanders, okay? <laughs> so. Mr. Sanders is very good at what he does, um, not only as my husband, but also he does all of my branding. So if you've ever seen a flyer, a logo, uh, anything, anything on my page that has anything to do with media, flyers, logos, PR, marketing, da 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 da, he does all of my visuals, um, including what you saw at the beginning of our podcast today. So tell us about your business, tell us what you do, and um, how people can find you. All right, so I'm Cedric, of course. Um, I am a freelance graphic designer. Uh, let's be clear, freelance does not mean free. And every artist, everybody that provides a service can probably attest to that. People get that confused. I got bills just like you do. I need to pay my bills too. So freelance does not mean free, all right? so. Uh, I went to uh, school here in Charlotte. Um, I graduated in 2006 from the Art Institute of Charlotte uh, with an associate's in graphic design. And really before I graduated, me and my roommate 
just decided that we'll start our own graphic business. Um, so um, it was based off of actually the apartment that we were living in. So we titled it 303 Creatives, which was the apartment that we had started it in. So this was back in 2005, it was before I graduated. And um, it just kind of took off. At first it was just a, a side hustle, try to make some money, you know, we, you know, as, you know, room and board and all that, you know, we, we still got to eat, you know, ramen noodles, a whole bunch of them is not cheap, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> especially when you eat it all the time. But, you know, we got to eat, we got to take care of ourselves, whatever. So, it was, like I said, it started off as a side hustle. And then um, it just kind of grew from there. Um, and then it just really became my life, you know, it became me. And, um, and I absolutely love what I do. Um, as far as with graphics. So when we talk about graphics, we're talking about your logo, your business card, uh, posters, t-shirt design, um, any way to market your business to get your business out there, um, any promo, social media flyers. Um, what am I missing? Uh, but anyways, any graphics to help brand your business to get your business out there. Um, that's basically what I do. So I don't offer print services, but I do uh, create the graphics for you to brand your business. Now, it's very important that people understand that a logo is the visual face of your business, but the brand is like the foundation of your business. So when you talk about starting from the bottom, okay, you might provide a service, and those service that you provide is automatically gonna get people. You know, if you're cooking for people, if you're doing plates, people hungry, they gonna eat. Okay, but how do you get those people when they don't know what your food tastes like? Okay, so I always say that maybe about a good 70% of people are visual. So if you have a pretty awesome logo, that's gonna catch somebody's eye. And it's like, oh, well, I wonder what that is. Let me go and check them out. You know, it's kind of like fishing. You know, you got to throw it out there and reel them in. So if, you, if you're providing uh, plates, for example, and you have a dope logo, somebody sees it, okay, now they're going to come to you. you may, whether you have a food truck, whether you're catering, okay, now when they try your food, right, now you got it. Oh, man, the food was delicious. Okay, so now they're going to keep coming back, right, because they enjoy the service, they enjoy the product that you offer. Okay, but it's still about how you reach them in the beginning and then how you keep them coming back. Okay, so for instance, my brother had a seafood food truck. Okay, now back during the time where he had it, there wasn't a lot of seafood food trucks. So that's something different that he's offering that he has that somebody else doesn't have. So he already had the advantage. But to somebody that's walking up to the truck, Maybe they don't know him like that. Maybe they're not really interested like that. So the logo that I did for him drew people in, okay? It drew people in. Now they try the food, they love the food. So what I ended up doing for him was I designed a business card that was a magnet. And so what he did was after you spent $15 with him, you got a magnet in your bag. Now, for those of you who are watching, you go home, you eat your food. If you have a magnet, 89% of the time, you're gonna put that magnet on your refrigerator or somewhere that it can stick, correct? All right, now, it's on your refrigerator, okay? A couple days later, you hungry again, and you want some of them crab legs that you had the other day, right? You go to the refrigerator because you don't have no crab legs. So the first thing you see when you open that refrigerator door is that magnet. Now, you just created a big circle. Now people about to come back, you know? And so, that's a strategy. So I also help my clients with not just their logos, their graphics, but other ways to get their business out there, other ways to, uh, to bring people back. So um, it's very important that you also think about your brand, your strategy, not just your logo. So um, again, I've been doing this since 2005, um, still doing it, you know, try to do it whenever I can, and I really enjoy helping people, especially with startup businesses, trying to get off the ground, trying to get out there, so. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. We went over a little bit, but I wanted to make sure that you met the private room with Tiffany T. 
Um, they are the PR team. They are what is going to make me and keep me on track, keep me going. It's going to keep you going. It's going to entertain you. It's going to advise you on different things. It's going to be able to coach you on different topics. Um, we're all about informing, entertaining you, and it's going to be a great time here on The Private Room. So please make sure that you follow us. Um, on The Private Room with Tiffany on Facebook, on Instagram, also on YouTube. Please make sure that you follow the PR team because they all have something valuable to offer. And please make sure that you tune in, the, mm, excuse me, tune in on Mondays at 8 p.m. Next week, we are gonna be meeting with a nice group of LGBT individuals couples and families to talk about Pride Month. Um, we are also going to be talking to couples at the end of the month who are going to be sharing their love story and some of the issues and some of the prejudices and things that they've had to overcome as couples in the LGBT community. And then we're also going to be talking to the Urban City Connect team to talk about professional networking, the importance of professional networking, and then talking about why it should be important for you as business owners and professionals. So please turn, tune in with us next Monday at eight o'clock live on our Facebook page. And I just wanna bring everybody else back in here right now so that you can see everybody. So ladies, come back. And we're just gonna say goodbye to you. Uh, real quick, my handles, 303 Creatives on Facebook, 303 Creatives underscore on the Instagram. This is the PR team, and this is the private room with Tiffany. Please make sure that you follow us. We appreciate you for watching tonight. Follow everybody. Any questions or you want to be a guest on the show, we also cover live events as well. So if you want us to come to your event and um, interview your guests and do coverage of your event, please reach out to us for that as well. You're in.